Uh, yeah, finally, you get to, to fight Pedro Carvalho this, uh, this Friday night. Tell us how it feels to, to actually be facing him now after a couple of cancellations. Yes, I'm pretty happy that this fight now take finally place, you know. I mean, it was set earlier for earlier this year, and uh, now I'm happy to be here, healthy, ready to go. It, does the venue kind of add a bit more panache? Obviously, he's like he's a pretty much an Irish guy. I know he's Portuguese, but uh, you know, there's going to be a big atmosphere of people who are supporting him and, and maybe booing you. Um, I've been there before when I fight Brian Moore. I just can say, first of all, I love the Irish fans. I mean, no matter what, if they're against me or with me, they bring a great atmosphere. And uh, but. I have to say, we bring some fans from Frankfurt, so they will uh, make a good uh, atmosphere there as well. They will bring the energy from Germany with us. How many fans do you think are, are traveling over from Germany? I don't know exactly, but uh, I have a couple of friends coming with me. I have my uh, my brothers coming with uh, half of a soccer team, <laughs> yeah. and my sister, yeah, quite a lot. Uh, what do you see in, in Pedro's game that you think might challenge you on, on Friday night? Um, you know, he likes to put pressure, but, uh, and, uh, I mean, he's well-rounded, but I'm prepared for everything, you know. I know he likes to come forward, but uh, my team and I, we are prepared for everything that comes our way and uh, confident that we bring home the victory. Obviously, watching your game and looking at your record, there's a lot of power in your game, whether it's the striking or the wrestling and, you know, litany of submissions in, in, in your career. When you look at Pedro and look at that, uh, pressure, I suppose, at times he can be open for takedowns. Is that what you see in his game? Is that what you'll be looking to do in, in, in this fight? Um, there are many holes in his game, and uh, this is just one of it. So I will see. I will take what I get. Um, do you think that, that crowd will be you? I know you were asked about it a, a, Sorry? a second ago. Do you think the crowd will be behind Pedro in a big way? Now, we've seen fighters here before, like Gunnar Nelson, not being from Ireland, but training here, really had that crowd with them. I don't know. I mean, like I said, you know, I've been there for the Irish guy here in Dublin as well, also in the three arena. And, uh, you know, the atmosphere is great, you know, and uh, when the cage door is locked, it's just him and me. You Obviously, you've been around fighting for a long, long time. What do you think this fight does for you when here? Is it vaulting you right back in towards title contention? Are you hoping maybe another tournament starts up or something like that? Or where are you hoping this fight gets you? Um, actually, I don't know. Climbing the ladder, ladder back up, uh, you know. Pedro's ranked, so it's a good opponent for me. And uh, we will see. I go one fight at a time. Thanks. Daniel, um, obviously, and um, this is a big fight for you in your career. You made the walk 50 times. And um, plus, where does Pedro rank in your opponents that you face? Is he top 10, top 5? Um, honestly, now he's, uh, for me, in my mind, he's. Now the best opponent I, I can face, you know, there's only the, the one you have in front of you. And I prepare, like, this is the championship fight, world championship, this is the way I prepare for this fight, this is the way, the mindset that I uh, will bring Friday night. Thank you. Daniel, you said you have fought the trainer before. It's Pedro's first time fighting here, even though he's adopted Irishman, and he's coming off two losses. Do you think he'd be extra motivated? Um, maybe. But uh, he always uh, looks hungry and motivated. But uh, that's that's not playing a big role to me. You know, I'm motivated. I'm hungry, and um, this is uh, what's important for me. And this time last year, he was obviously fighting for a world title. Have you watched that fight back? Is there anything you learned from that fight? I, of course, I analyzed his last fights, and uh, um, it's more about. Um, analyzing his movements and how he comes forward, how he creates ankles or not, and uh, taking advantage of that. And will the traveling party from Frankfurt have a mini holiday in Ireland after the fight? <laughs> yeah, um, uh, like I said, my brother, he, he will be here for about four days and uh, enjoying the city. <laughs> okay, thanks guys.